Welcome back to Sunrise. They're continuing our conversation about uh, the uh, release of the Chuba girls, their yearning to the, of the parents to be reunited with their daughters, or at least speak to them. Uh, you were saying that uh, the third part of the entire process in terms of what freeing uh, captives is what the government swapping. is swapping, is what yes. government is. What is that third part? Uh, that is uh, ultimately what it is. Every, almost everywhere in the world because uh, the moment you you combat your opponents to a point where you take uh, prisoners of war to start with uh, and your the belligerents now decide to strike you by taking some of your people as hostages the way to do it is swapping and that is what this government is doing now how safe is it and uh, in terms of getting an end to the to the conflict, you probably want to do it with a little bit of caution. I said earlier on that uh, we should have taken the opportunity of seizing the people that uh, are being released as a swap to de-radicalize to ensure that, in fact, even if these ones are released back to the belligerents, they are not likely to be useful to them. But um, that is neither here nor there. Nobody can fix a time for such a thing. I mean, if I know I'm already captured, and all you want to tell me is that I shouldn't believe in the cause I've been fighting for, I don't have to argue with you. Now, you I can pour all your theory at me, and I can hold on. Yes, I can, I can hold on to my belief. <laughs> this is where the danger is. And nobody, nobody, I tell you that, nobody will be able to say precisely that, yes, a uh, so, so person has been de-radicalized. De it is when a situation arises and you sp see the reaction of that person before you can confirm that, yes, I think the fire has gone out of him. Do you think He's that Abuja, Abuja for instance, now Abuja, for instance, now that uh, it's it, we shouldn't take it with kid gloves that no. Boko Haram wants to attack Abu, Abuja? What should the security agents be doing? Uh, definitely, since that video came out, I believe that uh, the uh, Directorate of uh, State Security would have gone to work. I would expect also that the uh, intelligence organizations within the army, within the police, even within the uh, Nigerian um, immigration services ought to have been alarmed. Uh, each of them will be going for specific things, watching out for certain things. And if it happens, if this thing happens, everybody is going to shout at the government. Ah, da, yeah, 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 you, have, you were told, what did you do? You were sitting on your asses. I don't believe so. Right now, I know that they would definitely be going around combing all the possible areas. You know, the key points and the V points. You know, what, what, you know these are key, key areas and the vulnerable areas of Abuja. They will definitely be doing something there. But that is not to say that uh, these terrorists cannot still strike. Would it be, uh, would, it, would anything be wrong if at the end of the day, one or two of those girls are not from Chiba? Because after all, they've kidnapped, uh, we understand, several people other than girls from Chiba. Mm. I mean, one or two of the two girls just released. You mean if any of the girls. If now, when they are allowed to speak to the families, yeah, parents, yeah. loved ones, media, mm -hmm. and it's found out that maybe one or two of them are not from Chibok, would it matter? No, I don't think it matters. Uh, it was a school. And uh, people come from other areas into, into a school. I mean, w w the school was not established for, for Boko Haram or something. It, it was a school in a, in a particular location. And uh, I'm sure uh, children from adjoining villages might have been part of the people that were adopted, but majority of them are from Chibok. And that's how, why they, all of them are labeled as uh, Chibok girls. Definitely, those of them who are outside Chibok will probably go back to their villages. There's no doubt about that. And if 
they go back to their villages. Once the process the government is trying to uh, go through is uh, done, I don't think well, there will be anything. But, uh, I mean, a uh, former military person with all the strategy and training you've been exposed to, did you think, having listened to the military, how they've carried out the operations in Sambisa Forest, did you think that you were going to get 82 of the girls out? The soldiers that went in there didn't have enough information about whether large people are located in a particular axis or few people in a particular axis. They don't know. After, they were after looking for... Combing they, Sambisa Forest. Yes, in Sambisa Forest. You see, Sambisa Forest is a very large area. Probably larger than, larger than Lagos State. In fact, probably larger than Lagos and Ogun States. It's a large area. So it's not possible for you to say, oh, because they said they have captured Sambisa Forest, uh, then they must have combed the entire area. No. So you believe that the what I know there. is that the, the the location of the combatants in the area had been degraded. Let me understand that when you say it's a large area, yes. geographically, yes, militarily, the same thing. Second, military. Like, were you expecting them to comb them on foot because they have technology, they have ah, the aircraft, you have all you of see, those. In, 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 even in, uh, in, in normal combat, what you want to do is try and locate the areas where your opponents are. And that's where you concentrate your effort in terms of combat. When you neutralize that area, take for example, if Lagos is taken, you wouldn't expect the people who have taken Lagos to line up on uh, Lagos Ibadan Express Road. No. Somewhere behind you here, uh, terrorists were striking. They came through the waters. You see, there are possible areas, as a, a, as a trained uh, person, there are areas you know that people will want to get into your territory. And those are the areas you face mm. in terms of combat. When you neutralize them in that area, you know that they are not likely to surface in some other areas. But you see, what we have on our hands is not just street combat. Yeah, but what it is terrorism. Some say that that.